Frindle by Andrew Clements. Chapter 7 Word Wars School was the perfect place to launch a new word, and since this was a major historical event, Nick wanted it to begin in exactly the right class. Seventh period language arts. Nick raised his hand first thing after the bell rang and said, Mrs. Granger, I forgot my friendle. Sitting three rows away, John blurted out, I have an extra one you can borrow, Nick. Then John made a big show of looking for something in his backpack. I think I have an extra friendle, I mean. I told my mom to get me three or four. I'm sure I had an extra friendle in here yesterday, but I must have taken it. Wait, oh yeah, here it is. And then John made a big show of throwing it over to Nick, and Nick missed it on purpose. Then he made a big show of finding it. Mrs. Granger and every kid in the class got the message loud and clear. That black plastic thing that Nick borrowed from John had a funny name, a different name, a new name, Frindle. There was a lot of giggling, but Mrs. Granger turned up the power in her eyes and swept the room into silence, and the rest of the class went by according to plan, her plan. As everyone was leaving after class, Mrs. Granger said, Nicholas, I'd like to have a word with you, and she emphasized the word word. Nick's mouth felt dry and he gulped, but his mind stayed clear. He walked up to her desk. Yes, Mrs. Granger? It's a funny idea, Nicholas, but I will not have my class disrupted again. Is that clear? Her eyes were lit up, but it was mostly light, not much heat. Idea? What idea? asked Nick, as he tried to make his eyes as blank as possible. You know what I mean, Nicholas. I am talking about the performance that you and John gave at the start of class. I am talking about this. And she held up her pen, an old maroon fountain pen with a blue cap. But I really don't have a friendle with me, said Nick, amazed at his own bravery. And hiding behind his glasses, Nick kept his eyes wide and blank. Mrs. Granger's eyes flashed and then narrowed, and her lips formed a thin, hard line. She was quiet for a few seconds, and then she said, I see. Very well. Then I guess we have nothing more to discuss today, Nicholas. You may go. Thanks, Mrs. Granger, said Nick. And he grabbed his backpack and headed for the door. And when he was just stepping into the hallway, he said, And I promise I won't ever forget my friendle again. Bye!